Hey, what's up guys? IQ here, and in this video, we'll be counting down times YouTubers barely escaped alive. But you guys gotta see the last clip where Ashton Myler from Ninja Kids TV has to go to the hospital due to a fall, and it's insane. And disclaimer, never try anything in this video. First up, we have the world famous Mr. Beast, and he does a challenge that almost ends extremely badly for him. So as you guys probably know, Mr. Beast does some crazy challenges, and in this one, he tries to spend over 24 hours underwater. Of course, this is a crazy thing to do, and something pretty bad happens to him, and he he just couldn't complete the challenge. But you guys gotta see why he had to stop. Which means I'm only halfway done. Halfway done. Yeah. I hate to disappoint you guys, but I randomly started feeling extremely sick while sitting underwater and I had to come out. Like I just had this strong urge to throw up. I think it's because the water was constantly moving. I was just getting really seasick. That's just crazy even trying to do a challenge like this. Luckily, nothing bad happens to him, and I still think he's a beast just for trying this. But comment down below if you're a fan of Mr. Beast too. For a while, it just really got to me, and I just really couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to power through, but I just couldn't. My leg is literally shaking. <laughs> Stop shaking, you're annoying me. This was a horrible idea. I would really not recommend any of you guys do this. I have a massive freaking headache. My head hurts. It's literally throbbing. In this clip, we have Peyton Delu from Ninja Kids TV, and she ends up going to the hospital. So at first, fans thought something serious happened, like a big fall or something. But apparently, she had really bad swelling on her tonsils, causing her to have trouble breathing. And this is just super scary, guys, because if it got worse, it could have blocked her airways. But you guys gotta see what happens. So in this part, doctors had to perform surgery to remove the tonsils, and luckily she was okay. You guys gotta see the whole video on Peyton's channel though. Yep, in this clip, we have Duddy from FGTV, who talks about how he nearly ended it all after jumping and tripping over air tracks. It doesn't seem that bad, but guys, your head is really fragile, and that's why everyone has to wear helmets and everything. But here, FGTV was not wearing one, which he should have, and it cost him. Watch to the very end, guys. It's nuts. She got hurt jumping on an air track. Hey guys, I'm here on the air track and I almost just died. Roll the clip. <laughs> you can't really tell. My neck is swollen right now. My head is very heavy. You can actually see in the video, I tried to sit up and I fell back down because of how bad my head hurts. Like my neck is all swollen. It's okay, Lex. Oh, oh yeah. I'm fine. Good? I'm good. I thought this thing was gonna be bouncier. I know it doesn't look that bad, but I ran, I jumped, landed on my butt, and then my back, and then my head. Ow. And on top of that, I was sideways. Next up, we have Logan Paul, and he went skydiving with a broken parachute. Yeah, guys, apparently in this clip, Logan Paul went skydiving, and when he went to pull his parachute open, it did not function properly, and it ended up not working at all. This is very intense, you guys. You gotta see it for yourself. Guys, that, that suit is like, trust me, the suits are gonna be much cooler. That's what we did this morning, gotta send it. I'm gonna play this real time, and then I wanna talk back and dive into exactly what what was happening uh, before what could have been the last moments of life. So this is the part that he has to completely cut the cord for his main parachute and pull his second chute. Now imagine if he didn't have a working second chute or didn't react fast enough to cut the first parachute. This would have ended so much worse. But keep watching to the end guys. It's crazy. Yeah, Whoa! Yeah. Dude. Yo. Dude. My heart is even pounding. This is freaking me out for real. Bro, you have no fucking idea bro. Because you literally look like you flipped. Let like me, okay, let me explain, let me explain. Your main parachute. 
takes three to six seconds to open. I go to pull the pull the rip cord. Pretty much right as I pull it, it gets stuck in this like little square shape. So I'm like, okay. Here's where they zoom into it, and it's just nuts. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would ever go skydiving. Right, so I'm like, I'm gonna give this a second. Like it could still open up. It's happened before, but it takes like a second longer to open up. But I'm also spinning, right? The cord is wrapping around. I'm getting a line twist, they call it. And about four seconds in, I realize the parachute is still not f***ing opening. So I start tugging on it. I'm like, oh, this shit right now. I'm living. So I grab my uh, my risers. I pull them apart. I spin around. Everything's safe. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still alive. Yeah, this is good. This is a good thing. Honestly, and I'm proud to say this, and it sucks that I have to go through situations like this to learn this about my- Next up, we have Dan TDM, and he says something is wrong with his finger, but it seems what actually happened is he tripped, and as he was falling, he broke his fall with his pinky or something, and it completely broke. This could have ended way worse if he landed on his head, but keep watching. Turns out I have broken my hand um i couldn't feel much obviously in a hospital it's kind of weird but um by the way i'm holding it with my left hand because obviously i can't really do much with the other one um yeah it's a little bit shaky right now but forgive me so i need to explain what's been going on basically i was just chilling in my kitchen walking um from over there right there to over here which is where my garden is and i tripped okay i tripped uh, well i kind of like I don't even know, I can't really remember that much, but I kind of spun around and I went to like put my arm out to just try and save myself from falling over. And instead, I whack my arm up. Here we have Wee Clown Around who encounters a clown in the woods. Now this one is really scary guys, cause this whole family is out playing and then all of a sudden a clown comes out of nowhere and starts chasing them. They end up getting home and locking the doors, but the clown doesn't stop there. You guys gotta see what happens at the very end. It's just insane. <gasps> what the heck? That's not funny, get out of here. There's kids here. Get out. Get! What are you doing? That's not funny. This isn't a joke! Caleb, get back! Okay, so here's the crazy part, guys. I'd be running already if I was them. Like, right when I see the clown, especially in the woods, I'd be sprinting so fast. But you guys gotta see what ends up happening. What do you think you're doing? No, come on, you guys, get, get. Get out of here. What the heck? That's not funny. Get me, no! Get, go, 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 you guys, get out of here. That's not funny. Get. Oh my God. Go. Here's the part where they just book it home and barricade the doors, but the clown is just insane, and you won't believe what he does in the next part. That's not funny. Get out of here! It's not funny! Ah! Ah! Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside! Next, we actually have Ashton Myler who goes on a cruise and takes a big fall. I guess the fall wasn't too bad, as when he goes to the hospital, the doctor says he's okay, but I would be so scared if I fell on a cruise like the way he did. Luckily, everyone was okay. Uh, when I poke you, please do not move. You can shout if you want, but don't move because if you move, I can hurt you more than you are, okay? 